What's going on, family? This is Garrett Brown Art Studios, and guess what? This is episode number four in the Manipulating the Sales mini series. It's becoming not so many, so we might have to change the name, but I am super excited because we keep stumbling upon cool and amazing things to do with silicone oil and acrylic pouring paint. So, Let's go down memory lane and take a quick recap of what we have done so far. And then, you know, we are about to get this party started. Let's go. So if you keep up with me, you know I love a good experiment. And in this series, it's all about the silicone. So we're gonna try something new today. Giving myself a little bit of a guideline here because we are going to attempt to make something really cool. Never done anything like this before, so ain't no telling how this is gonna actually come out. Going to make some paint here, create some custom colors. And I am going to paint my sections that I have as aqua. All right, so we're gonna do the same with the blue. Going to put a little blue down, add some white to make it a bit lighter. All right, family, so as we let this dry, I am going to mix up some of my ready to pour paints um, and make the colors very similar to these. I'm gonna add a bit of gold in here and then we are gonna add some silicone to put the magic on the canvas. And just like with the paint, all of my pre-mixed colors are going to have some white mixed in. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, family, let's set the scene so you know what's going on here. I have made some variances of this using more white to get a lighter version. In my blue, I'm going to add one drop of silicone and that color is going to be spread here with my gold and I am going to use a torch or a heat gun to manipulate the cells and it should give us some gorgeous beautiful cells but on this portion I am going to manipulate the cells like I've been doing in my previous video so no silicone will be added to my teal aqua color I will lay down the paint and then I will go in with my a toothpick and add silicone after the paint has been laid to give us two varying effects. I have no clue how this is going to go, but we're going to find out together. All right, so here is my blue color. And we're going to take some silicone and all you need is one drop. And I mean a small drop. Oh, I don't let two drops fall in there. All right, we're gonna take our heat gun and create some cells. Right now we're gonna take our teal Gold. And we're going to pour
All right, folks. Now, this was an experiment. I do not like this part. So I'm going to play around with it. But look at those gorgeous cells. So when making these chameleon cells, one thing that I have quickly learned is you need a contrasting color on top in order to get those crazy good looking effects. The light mint color that I made was on top of the teal. And so once I applied the silicone, um, the mint broke up and you can see those gorgeous cells. Whereas over here, the cells aren't as apparent because you have the teal with the light teal. So it kind of just depends on the effect that you're wanting. Okay, so I decided to do some embellishing here. I thought I was recording, sorry. And I kind of like it. So I think I'm gonna try this throughout. So I thought I was done, but I'm not. I'm gonna take some black and swipe over it just to see what happens. All right, so we're getting some reaction here. And it looks much better than just that blue. Listen, sometimes life gives you lemons and you just got to find a way to make some lemonade out of it. A lot of times artists, um, you know, we love to show all the great things, but hey, you got to experiment sometime and, you know, be able to show that too. So. Oops, we're going to call this done. You never know what you're going to come across when you just go out and experiment. And I hope this has inspired someone to try something new. But we did get some really pretty sales in the process. As we bring this thing to a close, you know I appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos and content. I hope you enjoy me. I hope you enjoy my shenanigans. But most importantly, I hope you enjoy the art. And while enjoying the art, you know I have to leave you with my life motto, which is do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. Any situation you're going through, good or bad, when you have to make those tough decisions, when you do it with love, it makes things so much better. Anywho, it is time to go. Think of some more ideas for the next couple episodes. I will see you very soon. Please press the like button, subscribe button, and share this with your friends. I can't wait to see you next time. Have an amazing, productive day. Peace.